This is the third uh, Logic Sims tutorial, and today we are going to be doing key input. So, so for the key inputs, we're going to make a new function called uh, function love love dot keeper, and this function is going to take the, a parameter, which is going to be which key it is it's found. So we just make a variable called key there. And we're going to do uh, so the key. So we're going to do if key oh, what key equals equals. And now we're going to need uh, these. These are called uh, key key uh, constants. And if we look on the wiki, there's a whole list of key constants. All of these representing uh, different button on the keyboard. So uh, the button we're going to be picking is so. So if we press uh, and this is for the space bar, it's just a space. So if then an end that oh there you go then if that's there, then we are going to uh, love dot graphics dot print. No, it's not, it's not gonna work. So if that is then, then uh, well, I think what we need to do is make a new variable here called points. Actually. Yeah, points. And points equals, I don't know, I don't know, it should be zero. So if then, then we're going to do points equals points, points, what's spelled? Point, ah, points plus one. So this is basically adding one to points. And so and under love dot draw we're gonna do it love dot graphics dot print points uh, points and colon and to uh, put two strings together or a string and something else. We're going to do dot dot points. So it's pretty much putting the variable points next to the actual number of points. Now we're going to do a comma. So then we're going to place this at uh, um, let's say forty x. Oh, 0x and then down to 70y. So let's see what this does. So let's play the game. Now we're going to press space. Points. So now points is a bigger number. Using my laptop as I do it. So when I press space, adds another point. So this is, uh, we can do much more complex things, like moving the player left and right, for instance, and uh, many other things. And also, you can't like hold it down, because this is only when you press the key. There's also another uh, function for releasing the key, so that's key released. So only when you release a key off the keyboard, it will do whatever's inside it. And also, there is just a... Uh, uh, a function which isn't uh, like we can write function here, but it's not one of those. It's yeah, just uh, to call, which is is down. So function uh, it's love dot keyboard dot is down, and uh, that will return a uh, key press. I think we'll do that now quickly. So instead of doing this, we'll use a new function, which is love dot 
love.update so this is always happening similar to the love.draw only love.update is faster for every one two love.updates it's one love.draw I'm going to put it into a ratio so under love.update we can say if I just paused to see what was wrong so I'm so stupid uh, so I, the way it's going to work is it's going to say uh, just cut this if love dot keyboard is down and it's going to take the parameter uh, so it's going to take a parameter which is the key and the parameter doesn't have to be verbal we can just make it so that is right so it's just going to check for right and oh, damn it. And if we just drag this in, now it's working. So now when you press right, it moves our little box man right. And we can also do it for left. We're not going to do an else if because if we did else if. It it doesn't not really like that, so we're just gonna do for left. So we're only gonna do minus, so we're going in the opposite opposite direction. I suppose you could compare it to Mario with our left and right platforming skills. But there's still quite a few different things that we're gonna need to be able to make this a really good game. Thanks for watching. Um I made quite a few mistakes, but whatever, and goodbye.